time now for the highlights, thanks to Boost Mobile. And the car's rolled out in gorgeous conditions again, although today, wind from the other direction and building up 25, 30 kilometres an hour from the north, meaning a tailwind into turn number one. Straight away, we saw some very quick speeds. Brock Feeney went out the gate rapidly. Fabian Coulthard, though, locking the right front brake in the mobile NTI Mustang on the run into turn one. And he carried it for quite a long way. It just got upset on one of the bumps down there. He still made the majority of the corner, had to use the exit apron. Luckily, he didn't find the grass. Seen some wild images over the top of the hill. This was a big, big moment for James Golding. He managed it beautifully, though. He kept his rolling speed up. May have put a little mark on the tyre. Ran slightly wide, but did get away with it and was able to tell the tale. That car's quick today, though, it seems. Very fast across the garage at the Red Bull Ampol Racing Team between both cars 88 and 97, although on that exit out of turn nine to Shane Van Gisbergen, gassed it up in second gear and didn't get the traction he was looking for. Actually aborted that lap and came back in. The Penride Oils entry, both of them this weekend sporting the old Federation Falcon colours of Alan Moffat from yesteryear. They're supporting Dementia Australia. Great cause and they've raised a lot of money and a valuable contribution and their cars are quick this weekend. That's Tom Moore. He's the engineer for Brown and Perkins and that car is quick as well. And they missed out by just 0.15 of a second because ultimately right at the back end, Brock Feeney did a beautiful job. One minute, 8.5834. The 20 year old from the Gold Coast stitching together a beautiful lap and he's partnered with the seven time series champion and that's gonna be a tough combo to beat.